am Courtney Bjorlin. I'm one of the editors on ASUGnews.com. Welcome to our coverage of the 2013 ASUG Annual Conference and Sapphire Now. I'm thrilled to be joined by Brandon Lage from Dickinson & Associates. He's going to talk with us this afternoon about the Sybase and Wired platform. This is really exciting because we haven't really had anything like this in the studio over the last two days. Thank you so much for joining us, Brandon. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I am um, Brandon Lage, and I work for Dickinson, and I've been with them for the last seven years. Um, so I actually started in SAP as an SD consultant, and then shortly after the acquisition of Sybase in 2010, I, I kind of took over and transitioned into mobility because there's a lot of cool things going on in the space, and there's a lot that we're doing at Dickinson in the space. So um, for me, it was a natural fit, and I've been doing that since, since about 2010. Great. And we're going to talk about a particular project today around Lifetime Brands. Talk to me about Lifetime Brands for a second. Sure. So Lifetime Brands is consumer products. So you may not know Lifetime Brands as a company, but you know what they sell. So they actually um, they sell kitchen utensils, they sell housewares, they sell tabletop, all that kind of stuff. And they actually they contract manufacture in China, bring it over, and they sell major brands like KitchenAid, um, uh, False Graph, Mikasa, major brands that you've heard of, but you may not have necessarily heard of, of Lifetime themselves. So Lifetime and Dickinson and Associates work together to implement the Sybase Unwired platform. Tell us about this project in the business case. Sure. Um, so Lifetime Brands, a couple of years back, was, was having some issues with their quality control process. And up until about six months ago, that process was entirely paper-based. So literally fill out a piece of paper, um, log what, what issues might arise, fax them in and there was no like there was no um, tight process around QM. So the first part of the business case was let's put in SAP PQM and, and the catalyst for it was um, Lifetime was having some quality issues and their executive VP of um, supply chain, Cliff Siegel, actually called us and said, hey we've got a project, we need to increase quality and um, you know help us help us with that. So they selected SAP QM, um, we implemented that, and then over top we laid a, a pretty slick um, iPad application based on the unwired platform. So um, the business case for it really is their customers. So last year they, they were having quality issues, product would come in from China and it's if it's broken or it's just it's not to color spec or whatever, um, they were having some issues last year. So they went from having issues to this year their vendor of the year with one of their major uh, customers in the U.S. So that's the business case. There's huge value and they're now setting the mark for um, their industry and quality. In that short of a time. I in mean, that that's an incredibly time. short time. Right. So they're taking SAP QM. Over that you laid Sybase Unwired platform. Right. And on top of that, what are they using um, to mobilize the quality management? So they've got iPads. The client? iPads, okay. so iPad minis and, and um, no, you know, normal full-size iPads. Great, so. great. Yeah. Um, so let's see the application. Okay. I understand we have a video of it. We absolutely do. Yeah. So um, Lifetime Brands, this is the, the video that they actually show their customers. So they're major retailers in the U.S. So if I'm going into a major retailer, I'm saying this is what Lifetime Brands is doing for quality. So it's actually, it's a pretty cool video. It's a, a very slick app, and, and I'm glad we can show it to you. Cool. Roll the tape. Lifetime Brands QM iPad application enables organizations to oversee and manage quality control inspections in real time, regardless of where factories, product lots, or distribution points are located. QM is designed to capture data pertaining to product inspections, social compliance, vendor compliance, and factory compliance prior to shipping and distribution, with emphasis on easy adoption, simple workflows, and legibility, in addition to speedy and accurate reporting. Its dynamic data capability means that inspections requirements are always up to date, even as situations change. Inspection devices are geolocated, ensuring that quality control teams are on site during the inspection workflow. QM is configured for language localization. Tasks and descriptions can be displayed in Chinese, for example, enhancing user experience, workflow operations, and application adoption. Open the app and a work list of required inspections is clearly displayed. Inspection types are color coded and work lists feature several sorting options for enhanced findability. Alternately, users can use the device's native camera to scan barcodes and bring up the desired inspection list. Simply tapping on any item on the list opens the inspection details tray. Previous inspections and inspection summaries are also located here. Tap View to bring up the inspection operations screen. Operation details expand upon tapping list items. Start the inspection by tapping the button on the top right. 
Qualitative operations feature clear instructions and color-coded inputs. Operation status is indicated by a progress bar on the list view. Handy contextual assets are available where noted with the light bulb icon, such as compliance requirements and documentation. Some operations include locked cells, which may become unlocked depending upon inspection answers. These are configured by system admins. For example, if an inspector's answers determine that a facility includes a dormitory, then facility dormitory questions unlock. For qualitative operations, users simply choose from a list for normalized reporting of defects and defect locations, while notes can be added for additional context. Defects recording requires image capture. Capture multiple defect images by clicking the camera icon, which opens the device's native camera. Review and delete images at any time during the inspection. Selected qualitative operations, such as characteristics recording, require that notes be input. While inspections are underway, progress is indicated with a color band across list items, and the View button is relabeled In Progress. Progress can be halted, saved, and resumed at any time in the course of an inspection prior to finalization. Any new inspection data is stored locally until a sync is performed. This operation is available at any time during the workflow. Quantitative operations feature clear form fields input via keypad. Previous inspections are accessible with the tap of a button, featuring both quantitative data and qualitative data, such as product defect images. Speedy sharing, reporting, and communications are handled by in-app email, accessible from either the Operations Summary View or Previous Inspection Summary View. Users can email from the app at any time before, during, or after the inspection. At the end of the inspection, the inspector reviews results with the plant manager. The inspection summary view displays all rejected characteristics and defects. QM prompts inspectors for any additional questions and comments they might have input via the form field at the top of the screen. QM's dynamic data capability enables admins to enter the system and assign additional tasks to an inspection upon sync based upon notes and inspection results, ensuring that follow-on inspections are all always up to date as situations and requirements change. When an inspection is complete, all progress bars are 100% and the user may finalize the inspection at that time with a prompt for added security. When the user hits finalize, the lot is now automatically sent to the server in the background or alternatively, they can sync when the device is in Wi-Fi range. The QM application is also designed to be compatible with several outboard sensors and devices, such as the Chroma Node color matching sensor platform. This renders former qualitative operations, such as color matching, into pinpoint accurate quantitative operations. Simple, mobile, comprehensive, accurate. QM is quality control evolved by Lifetime Brands. Well, that was really interesting. Yeah, isn't that an awesome app? It's yeah. very select the way they put it together. It looks so. really, really cool. Yeah. I can understand why so many people are interested in learning about it here. Sure. Yeah. So tell me about who's using it and how has the adoption been? So the users love the application because our goal going in was that they would only have to take one iPad into a factory to inspect. They would have everything they need to get the inspection completed and then they could take that same iPad out with them. So they can actually do their job from anywhere. So it's fully offline capable. So they really only need to connect to synchronize results back. So that's the beauty of the unwired platform is that I can pull all that data down. I can work without connectivity. I can be in a, in a factory in the middle of China where there is no Wi-Fi, get my work done, head home, and resync. So they love it. Um, we've got about uh, 10 inspectors in the field right now, and the plan is to have 40 um, here in the very near future. So right. Lifetime is actually phasing in their product lines. So they started with cutlery, and then they're going to, to continue to, to move in new product lines. Um, but the, the response has been very positive. Their users love it, and their management loves it because it, it brings visibility, and it brings, um, obviously, transparency and, and um, uh, standard platform. So they can report um, off results, and they, they've been very receptive to it. Yeah, it sounds like the continued rollout will, will be great right. for moving that along. Yep. So let's close out our interview by asking, I'd like to know, and it's a question that comes up over and over again with our customers, Sybase Unwired Platform versus Point Solutions, what would you say? 
Sure. Um, so Cybus and Wired Platform and now SAP Mobile Platform as it's being rebranded um, is exactly that. It's a platform, right? So um, you really find the value in all of the subsequent projects that go on after the initial, the initial project. So, of course, part of this project, because it was Lifetime's first foray into mobility, was to set up the platform. So the platform is there, it's established, and now it's, it's a building block for um, what they can do in the future with mobile. So they've got all sorts of opportunities um, to quickly roll out mobile solutions that they didn't have before, and if they were going with some sort of point solution, of course, it would be very limited in what they could do to expand. So they've got a lot of, of mobility ahead of them. Great. Well, thanks for the time. Great yeah. story. Thanks for the, the special movie there, too. Right. That was awesome. Thanks for watching ASUG News. Uh, please continue to tune in to us for continued coverage from the show floor here at ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now.